Hi you guys, I'm Janice Wilson Hughes, the owner of Evolution Stoneware Pottery. I'm reaching the final stages of my djembe drum building project and I'm about to finally get the skin on the drum itself. It's pretty exciting. My shell is complete, my rings are wrapped, the knots are on the rings and the verticals are loosely on my drum. So now it's time to tackle getting the skin on the drum. Now, I'm using a goat skin just like this. This is a fairly thin goat skin from Pakistan. This is 18 inches round, which is a great size to get onto this drum without worrying about it being too small. You have to soak the skin first before you put it on. And I have one that I'm going to use soaking in this bucket of water here. Now this needs to soak for eh, one to two hours. It's cold water, by the way. Now, once it's ready to go, I'll wrap the skin around this flesh ring and sandwich the whole thing underneath this top ring. And then pull these ropes tight to tension up the drum head. Now I have spray painted this ring with some black rust-oleum that I already had. It's not customary to wrap the one, this flesh ring that goes inside of the skin with fabric. So just to help the longevity of it over the long run and prevent as much rust as I can, I went ahead and sprayed this. These rings were custom made for me by Djembe Drums and Skins. It's a company outside of Knoxville, Tennessee, and Shorty there was wonderfully helpful in helping me figure out the exact sizes that I need for my drum. So these rings need to fit your instrument exactly. So if you take on making one of these from scratch, you'll need to work with a djembe part supplier to make some rings for you, or perhaps a local metal fabricator to make some for your drum. These fit perfectly and I'm pretty much ready to go with getting this skin on my drum. Now, when I apply this to the drum, I want to make sure that the side of the, f the skin that used to have fur on it is facing up. That's going to be my playing surface. And you can tell just by looking at the skin. I also want to center the spine down the middle of my drum. So when I place the ring on the skin, I want to get that spine in the center. And the reason why is because the skin is a little bit thicker there. And in order to get the tension across the head of the drum even, you want that to run right down the middle of the drum. So I'm going to lay out my skin, lay out my flesh ring on top, and I'm going to put some holes in the outside of the skin, wrap it over the ring, and tie it on there with some twine. Not everybody ties theirs on. I think since this is my very first time doing this, that'll help me to keep this centered and uh, stay in place as I get this on the drum.
Now the second phase will be to take that skin that's tied onto the ring and sandwich it between the top ring and the rim of the drum itself. Then I've got to pull those verticals of rope as tight as I can by hand and let it dry. And when you pull the verticals, you want to try to keep the drum head centered on the drum and keep that bottom rope centered too, or that bottom ring centered and not tilted. But I'll do my best and then I'm going to have to exercise some major patience and just let this dry for a while. I finally, finally, finally have my skin on the djembe. Now this is sort of just the first pass. It's on there roughly tightly by hand, but it's gonna have to be a whole lot tighter to play correctly. So I trimmed the edges of the skin and I need to let this dry before I do the real tightening and tuning on it. But that was a little bit harder than I even expected and I worked out a pretty good sweat on that. So I'll let this dry and come back and do some even harder work on it. But I'm excited. It's coming along. If you're into ceramics, please check out my professional DVDs and instant video downloads that are available on Amazon. All you have to do is search my name, Janice Wilson Hughes, and they'll pop right up. I think you'll really get a lot out of them. I'd love to be friends with you on Facebook. If you'd like to connect, just head over to my page, which is Evolution Stoneware. 
And if you'd like to know when I upload new YouTube videos, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification. If you appreciate these free videos that I put together for you guys, please consider making a small donation to my channel. I would really honestly appreciate it more than you guys could probably imagine. Thanks. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.